In this video, we're going to cover link wheels. Now, what link wheels are is they are basically, as you can see from the diagram, the big red circle in the middle, that is your money site. So that's your website that you're trying to promote. So what they do is they go out and they create a bunch of you know web 2.0 properties and other pro properties with good quality content on them that link back to your main website. And then what they do is they go out and they create a bunch more properties that link to those web 2.0 properties. And then they go out once again. And as you can see in the diagrams, all the black boxes around the edge, those are, a lot, those are a lot of um, lower quality type links. But again, they funnel all of those back at your other links. So back at your web 2.0 properties that then point to your money site. Um, you know, so it's kind of, it's a little difficult to understand quite frankly, but Again, what it's going to do is that you're going to have your money site. You're only going to have good quality, unique content pointing back to your money site. And then what they're going to do is go out and create a whole um, couple other levels of links that point to those web 2.0 properties. So if there's any, you know, not any low quality links, they're never going to point actually to your website. They're going to point to other pages that have links back to your website if I, if I explain that. Um, good enough and what this does is it creates uh, you know so your tier one links that are pointing directly to your site what it's going to do is it's going to get a ton of backlinks to those tier one links making those links more powerful so instead of just having some random link you know out on squidoo.com now you have a link on a squidoo page that has a whole pile of links pointing to it so it's going to increase the um, authority and ranking ability on the power of that page and of course that page then links back to your money site so you know there's a lot of talk about these they used to be you know one of the hottest things out there um, and then they've kind of fallen a little bit out of favor saying that maybe Google doesn't like them well I've personally used them um, and even very recently on my own sites and never once have I seen any negative results of them again because the only links pointing back to my site are from pages that are good quality content um, that don't, you know, that aren't on any kind of spammy or auto approve um, websites. So for me personally, I do like to use them. However, it's not something I use all the time. Usually I will use it, you know, once on a newer site. Um, again, just to get another, you know, fresh batch of links. Again, increasing my diversity. Of links um, and then you know maybe I'll use them several months down the road but this is definitely not something I'm doing every week not something I'm doing even every month usually I'll do it once um, for a newer site you know not a brand new um, but a site that's already been indexed um, and has you know some other backlinks to it I'll go ahead and run a link wheel at that site um, just to get you know some more links and kind of increase um, the ranking of the site now a couple of things with these when you do these you want to make sure um, I personally never do it myself as you can look at that diagram um, I don't want anything to do with creating all all that stuff so there's services that do these what you want to look for in the services that provide them is you want to always be able to um, spin the content you don't want the same piece of content being used on all the pages you want to make sure they're spinning the content more importantly you want to make sure you're able to um, spin the anchor text of the links going to your site so you don't want um, as you can see in the you know the first layer there those are all going to point directly at your website you don't want to use the same link on all of those again you want to be able to vary your anchor text so with that being said um, there's really two places to do them uh, first off you can use Fiverr now you know I talk about Fiverr a lot um, for link wheels there's plenty of people on Fiverr who offer to do link, link wheels the only thing I'm going to caution you is you're paying five dollars. So you know, let's let's be honest and let's be real. You're paying five dollars for that service. The quality of a link wheel you're going to get probably not going to be that high. Um, so again, you know, Fiverr is an option. It's five bucks. You know, it's cheap. Uh, but again, you get what you pay for. I personally like to use a site called LinkPushing.net, and they actually. Um, you know, they've, they've been around for a while. I've been using them for a lot. I think they charge $27 for a link wheel, I believe. And, you know, they really go above and beyond what anybody else does. So they'll create your first tier links. 
then they'll go go ahead and start creating the wheel of all the other links and then they'll actually use other tools um, like Linkalicious they'll run all your links through there to make sure your links are getting indexed um, they'll run it through a, a service called Scrapebox which will do blog comments out to your links um, and they also use um, a couple other services I don't, I don't know them all off the top of my head but they actively um, put a lot of effort into make sure all the links they create are getting indexed in Google and again we've talked about it time and time again if your your link is on a page that isn't indexed it's not a link you know Google hasn't found it, it doesn't count so they actively go out and make sure that they're getting all of your links indexed and it only increases the power of what they can do they let you uh, spin all the content they also uh, write the content for you so you don't have to give them an article to use um, so really you pay 27 bucks you tell them your website um, you know what anchor what anchor text you want on your link um, and from there they pretty much go handle it all for you um, so link wheels are something I do use again you, people have different opinions on them I've personally used them I can only go from what I see with my sites I've used them never had a problem usually get pretty good results from them um, so link pushing is the one I recommend again I would use that on a, a newer site that's been indexed and already has a couple links and um, I would run it once and then you know maybe three four months down the road you can run another but really for me doing it once is good enough for me because if, if you keep doing over and over and over you're getting links from the same place and it's gonna start to kind of dilute the benefit of it so I like to do it once to go out and get a link to my site from all those web 2.0 properties you'll notice in the videos I don't talk about web 2.0 properties because I simply use a link wheel to do it all for me so that is link wheels again I, I would encourage you to use that once when you're first starting up your site and then down the road if you kinda need extra pushes um, to get your rankings moving again